everybody, welcome back. My name is Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called A Flower Patch. Um, right, I did say earlier that I was going to make two poly ribbon bows. Well, I, I didn't say two, I just said poly ribbon bow. Because not everybody um, has the luxury to be able to afford the uh, wired ribbon and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to make it in poly ribbon instead. So I'm going to do two. I've got one, oh my goodness, one in purple. And it's all it's called is the Eleganza Poly Waterproof Premium Quality and it's 100 yards, which is about 91 meters. And then I have got one in ivory as well. I've made two up to show you how that I've well, what I've done. I've done one plain first in just the plain purple and then I've done one with purple and ivory. So I'm going to show you how to do both. All you need is your ribbon and a pair of scissors. That's it guys, nothing else. So, I'm going to bring the camera down and I'm going to show you how to make the poly ribbon. So give me one moment. Let's get it down further. Oh, excuse my hand guys. So, I think that may be okay. Excuse the bits if you see bits on it. It's from the, the tutorial we did earlier on. Right, so I'm just going to unravel some of our ribbon. Go right to the end where we've just been. And what I'm going to do, this piece here is going to be the inside of our circle as we gather the bow. So you basically pull it away from you, turn it over to make your circle or your loop. And then you just grab, it does It does twist around itself guys. So I may, no I'm not going to cut it, sometimes I cut it. Let me just get it up on here. So all I'm going to do is get it and go around like one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to meet where the beginning is over here and just go over the flap and cut. Once I've done that, I'm going to fold it down flat, like so. And then once I've done that as well, I fold it over again in half. So the two ends are here. Now we're not going to do nothing with those. So I pat it down to make sure they're all same and they're all equal. So then I just put a crease in there and what we are now going to do is cut at a diagonal position like a V shape. So we're going to go up and we're going to leave a little bit in the middle where we've not cut. So I, as you can see I have cut at a diagonal position. Turn it over and do the same but don't cut to the to a point just leave as you can see a little bit where it's flat there and it's not a point because if you meet up with that other side then you have lost your ribbon so open it up like that so it looks like a dicky bow hold it in your hand get another piece of this poly ribbon 
just snip a piece off and then just get it around the center if you do it in the center you get a more of an equal tear if you do it at the end it could become wider as it goes down so tear around the center like that pull off now that is what we're going to tie this bow in the center so we place it over and tie a double knot if I can get it through and tie it in a double knot just pull on it like so once you've done that just snip these off leaving a little bit so it doesn't unravel and throw those away so you are now left with a dicky bow so you go in towards the center you have this loose piece here just bring that out you don't need that piece you can snip that off if you like or if you wish to have a tail end you could place two tail ends there before you attach your knot so then you have two long tail ends sticking out but I'm going to show you without doing that so there is that one and you have this one here where you've finished just bring those out to the bottom so I'm going to snip those off because they will be hidden inside so now you start from the inside not on the top from inside and you grab one of the loops the very first loop you did and then get it in your hand like that and twist and pull away from you so you're basically twisting your hand like that get the other one inside you always get them from the inside twist towards you now like that and then you do the same away towards away towards so you've got that turn to the opposite side and do exactly the same away towards away towards me I say towards you and towards me so you have that at the moment so if you just hold it and now fluff up and that's all you do by fluffing up just twist it in any direction that you feel it needs to be to make it look full You can place it on the your workbench or work wherever your worktop and if you feel that's easier for you to twist then do it like that. I always find it's a bit easier when you're holding it because I've got more control over holding it. You will know if you feel it's it's correct because if you see a gap and you think oh well that doesn't look right twist it again into a position like those two are next to each other I don't like to see that so twist them away from each other And just keep going until you are happy with your bow. So there you have a beautiful bow to place either on a wreath or on a bouquet 
of any sort. So that is your plain one. So now we'll do it with two ribbons. We'll do the same, just gather the ribbon, pull on it, just, and same with the purple again. I've still got that where I tore from the last one to use to tie. Get both of them right to the beginning. You don't have to just use two, you can use three. I'll just cut that one so it's straight. Place them together like that. And you're going to do the same procedure. You're going to go around like that. And again, you can go around as many times as you wish. You can do um, eight loops, 10, 12, 14, 16, whatever you wish you'd like to do for your loops. So you just keep going round with your hand like that, holding them as you go around. I haven't counted this one. I'm just going by how thick. Sometimes I count, sometimes I don't. And again, if it's you want more, pull on your reel for more. And this will be thicker to cut because there's more two ribbons. So then I will see where I started on the inside, which is there. And what I'm going to do on this one is go past to the opposite side and then I'm going to cut so there we have all of our ribbon I'm going to fold it in half again and then in half again as you can see there is the tail ends where I've cut. Now this is quite thick so this might take a while to cut guys because it is really thick. So do the same procedure at a triangular position. Bear with me. <laughs> That's one. Turn it over and do exactly the same. Again, don't cut at a point. Cut at a flat edge. Keep going. <laughs> Like so. So you've got that sort of a finish cut on the end. Open up so it's like a dicky bow. So because I finished on the white on the top, I'm going to use purple again. Again, split it in the centre and pull. Tie that in a knot. If before, let me just get another piece of ribbon if you want a tail end in white and purple I'm just going to cut these at a diff any length I'm not measuring the length I can sort that out when I've done place on top like so and, oops and then I just follow the pattern where I've cut in the centre. So I've got these like that. Then get your little piece 
that you've teared off tie it again in a double knot and then once you've done that you can snip those little bits off just leaving a little bit again so it doesn't unravel so I have this at the moment if I dovetail I'm going to dovetail each of these it doesn't matter that one's longer than the other I like that sort of effect So now we have that effect. So you just bring those down to the bottom, just like you would with a bow. So then now you start from the inside again. And that is your spare one. And I will have a spare one in there for the white as well, which is there. So you can cut those or use those as tail ends. I don't want these. So I'm taking those off because I have placed my own tail ends on. So start from the beginning again. Oops, sorry. Let me move that out of the way. Away. Twist and away to me twist and to me should I say twist to you twist to me twist to you twist to me twist to you this to me and just keep doing that and so on so if you're doing it at home twist away twist to you twist away twist to you so you have that effect turn it back over and do the same away to you and just keep doing that until you have finished. taking them from the center not from the outside so you have that at the moment now all you do because you will find that you've got all your purple majority of your purple are sat on the top now you bring your white in to the center or in and around by mixing them up taking some of your purple to the bottom and some to the top so then you will have a mixture of color And this is where you just fluff away again till you're happy oh, I forgot to cut that one silly me I forgot 
got that there's four. And you just keep doing this guys until like you would if you were fluffing your bow up on your wreath or anything like that. I want a bit more white in the centre on this side. It's very strong this. Let me just... Again, I forgot there was four because I doubled up. And just do this. Just keep going round. That's all you do. Just keep going round until you are happy with what you have done. And the bow in to you looks I tend to look for like how many colours are next to each other and to like these three whites I want to break those up I've got three purples I want to break those up so I bring up a white and incorporate that to break it up so I'm happy with that as I've gone all the way around, probably more than once, but I like, I don't mind that because I like to see it looking beautiful. So you have your tail ends here. So now you can shorten them with these or just have a few slightly longer. So I will cut these slightly, the odd bits longer like that maybe that one's slightly longer than the purple bring this slightly shorter than the purple have a mixture of lengths of your bow bring that one down there So you have your tail ends. If you don't want as many tail ends, these at the top you can just snip off or you can snip these off shorter again. So that's with them being longer. So I will snip off, I'm going to snip this one off and show you how you, what else you can do. So again I'll snip this one off so it's not seen like that and that's hidden so and I may snip this one off so you've just got four so go now where it is tied don't snip it off right to the bottom because otherwise it will pull out the other side take that off so then you have your four ribbons if I can grab that one your four ribbons what I added in so that is your poly bow with two colors now doesn't that look fabulous two beautiful colors mixed together then just a single one without any tail ends and one with tail ends so that guys is how you make Holly bows so I hope that was uh, helpful I may do another video where you have your scraps you know your oddments where you uh, all different colored oddments um, all different sizes uh, what you can do with them instead of just 
placing them in a uh, container out of the way, you can make a multicolored bow. So maybe some bows may not have loops, some may. Um, we'll just see how long we've got, got um, you know, what length we've got spare. So again, two different bows. So one with two, just two tail ends on there, one with four tail ends, one with no tail ends, and one with two tail ends. So we've got a little variety. If I can place them here, of different ways you can do your poly bow without, with four tail ends, with two tail ends, with two tail ends and one where it's caught at a slant and the re these two are dovetailed. So again, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, if you want to, uh, you know, play it again just so you can grasp what to do, uh, play it as many times as you like guys and give it a go. You can, with poly ribbon, you can just practice, practice and practice. That's all I did when I was um, a university course and that. That's all my tutor used to say. Keep practicing, keep practicing because I just couldn't get it. So in the end, my uh, I did what my tutor said and eventually, ka it clicked. So, I was doing it wrong, I was going the wrong way round, so I just couldn't understand what I was doing and my bow seemed to be really loose, so, but there we have it guys, so again you don't have to use these colours, you can use any colour, silvers, blues, pinks, purples, oranges, reds, yellows, anything really, double up or single, your choice, tail ends or no tail ends. I was tr I was taught to start with try without tail ends, and then start with tail ends. So it's your decision, guys. So I hope you have fun giving it a go if you've got some poly ribbon. And again, just keep watching the video back and forth, back and forth. So let me just put the video back up the camera. And we'll just. Place it there. So there you have it. I hope that was quite interesting. Again, you don't have to just place these because you see them on bouquet flowers, on real flowers. You can place these on a wreath. If I just grab a wreath. Instead of the uh, wired ribbon, you can place this on a wreath and it looks just as beautiful. At the bottom, top, wherever you would like it placed, it would look just as beautiful, guys. Um, I may do a wreath one day without them, without a uh, wired ribbon, or you could place that. Or you could just place these all around the wreath and just add some foliage on the odd floral popping out from it. That would look pretty. So, again, give it a go. So, all the best guys. Please subscribe, share and like to the world, to the universe, to your friends, family, anybody who you know, even to the dog and cat. <laughs> um, and give it a go and have fun. Please don't get frustrated if it doesn't work the first time. It didn't work the first time for me. It took me numerous occasions, honestly guys, numerous occasions to get it. It must have took me at least a good couple of months, at least, and before I could just grasp, I couldn't get my fingers right with it. Uh, I was struggling with that. Um, but, as the tutor said, keep going keep going and she kept showing me she kept showing me and eventually it worked so I, again i've done lots of these for wedding cars um for bouquets um for funeral arrangements the sheaves 
and things like that so all the best with it enjoy and just be positive because you can do it so again please subscribe share and like have a wonderful day take care good health god bless i love you all and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye